Hello Virgo and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This message will be for September 15th through the 21st and we'll have an intention for this week. I want to start by saying thank you guys for all the love and support that I've seen this far on the channel. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. All the love and support is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for that. If you find that this message resonates or it is helpful to your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. If you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome here and I upload messages daily. So, Virgo, 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 Virgo. I'm going to use the wisdom of the House of Night Oracle cards this time. PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. Vision. Loyalty. Cycles. Ooh, that's blinding. I to see that one. There you go. So, Virgo. Vision symbolizes symbolizes being open to energies, honestly. Um, no matter what you lose in life, there's always something that will replace it. But it goes into a little bit of, a little further detail. That there may be a vision that comes to you about this about this thing that's going to be replaced, okay? I feel like there's a call to, loyalty talks about being loyal to oneself first and foremost, right? But be, just being a loyal soul in general. And then cycles, what goes around comes around. I feel like here, Virgo, what the cards are telling us is there's something that you're experiencing right now, okay? This could be a new potential opportunity or what you thought was a new potential opportunity, but I feel like this is a karmic cycle coming back around, a karmic lesson to present itself to see if you've learned this lesson of putting yourself first, okay? I feel like in the past, you've had a difficult time with that. You've maybe been very open to pleasing people more than yourself. Maybe sacrificed things, morals, um, values, certain things about your characteristic, your character that you normally wouldn't have stepped over the boundaries, but something swept you off your feet and you got caught up in the moment. And there's a need this week to really reevaluate your approach to this, okay? Are you gonna continue going through the cycles or are you going to present the tools that you've learned in the past to try and curb this, right? To create some good karma. So sometimes the best decision isn't the easiest, Virgo. But trusting that whatever is taken from you will always be replaced, okay? So let's see what the tarot has to say about this um, because I am intrigued. I'm actually a Virgo ascending, a Virgo rising. 
have Virgo heavy in my chart, so a lot of times these readings will touch a little bit on I can see how it would resonate with my situation, either past, present, or future, because remember, we are all on different timelines, so this could have happened before, before to you, obviously, because it's a cycle, but like I said, this is like a cycle repeating itself, okay? I feel like... There's something that you're very passionate about, okay? Or is very passionate about you, a very passionate connection, okay? The Ace of Wands symbolizes, um, this is in the, the position of your mindset, by the way, but it symbolizes um, passion, creativity, creative success, perfect time to take an important step forward, okay? The Knight of Swords is the guiding card, okay? This tells me that somebody is manipulating a situation to try to gain something for themselves. And you may not even be able to tell this is what's going on. But this is the energy. You're, you can't put your finger on it, but you can sense something. Okay? And it has you in this, like, wait a minute. Waiting. The lesson. Remember, this is a karmic lesson that has come up. So if this is a, a romantic situation then there's a lesson that is repeating itself that may have looked very similar in the past, okay? And this lesson is coming back up to make sure that you've learned the lesson you need to learn before you can move forward to the next phase in life. I know it sounds silly, but that's really how how life works, okay? You're going to go through situations in life that aren't easy. You learn the lesson. Then you come to a period in your life where that situation or a similar situation arises. You have an opportunity to express the tools that you've learned in the past to handle these situations. Or if you didn't learn those tools, then you're just going to go blindly into the situation and go through this cycle all over again. It's up to you, okay? I feel like there's some deceit going on here. There's some miscommunicating, misunderstanding. Um, and I feel like there's this imbalance going on here that needs to be balanced within this scenario. Taking a step back and utilizing the tools that you've learned in the past to handle these situations is going to curb this conflict. There's a need for communication here. That's all. Sitting sitting down and have a ser having a serious talk about true intentions, what it is that people truly want out of the situation. Don't deceive yourself, okay? Don't try to, oh, this is going to have the fairy tale. This is going to work out and da da da. This is a test. The Five of Wands is present. This is a test. Have you learned that lesson, Virgo? This is a test. You may be dealing with a fire sign because there is a lot of fire energy. I'm just saying. I'm 
just saying, Virgo. I'm just saying. When an opportunity presents itself, you have a choice to make, okay? You're going to play into this karmic behavior and keep building up the, these karmic situations. Are you going to express realism, be practical about it, be honest and practical? There's a need for a change in perspective here. If you haven't had that change, then you're going to go through this lesson and you are going to change your perspective. So either this has happened and you're going to express the tools that you've learned in this situation, or you're going to go through this cycle again and hopefully catch on this time. I understand that this person may be pulling on your heartstrings, okay? They may be a very good salesperson. They could be very charming, very intellectual. There is hope. It's not like you're going to communicate with this person and everything's going to be lost, okay? Take your time, breathe, be grounded when you go into this situation because there is hope here, but there's a need for communication. And I feel like the person who is coming into your life is open to that communication, but they're not going to know if you don't tell them. So don't be afraid to communicate. Change in perspective. This transformation that you're going through, okay, there is a little waiting involved, but if you utilize the tools, plant the right seeds, there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. You're setting the stage, setting the stage, Virgo, for a successful future. Take the time. Take your time. Okay, in this, but don't play into these same cycles, okay? I really get the sense that this is definitely most likely having to do with relationships. And it very well could be that you're being strung along, breadcrumbed, all those fun psychological terms that people throw around so frivolously. And you're not sure what to do. Take a step back. Get clear on what it is that you want out of the situation and why. Right? And then communicate that. So, take some quiet, quiet time, meditate, contemplate, get clear on those intentions, what it is that you truly want and why out of the situation. And then put your true heart's desire into action. Take the leap. Another thing, ask for guidance. Ask Ask the universe, ask spirit, ask higher consciousness, ask God, whatever you believe in. It's not my place to say who believes in what. I know I believe in a higher consciousness, a higher power that we were created by something. Ask for guidance in this and it will come. It'll come. There's an opportunity for healing here. And I feel like this is an opportunity for both people to heal in this situation, in this scenario. So taking this time, Virgo, to plant these seeds is, there is hope in that. So it's up to you. 
you know, if you just want to take a step back, you don't want to deal with all this, this test and all this stuff. But I do see there p being potential within this partner. They've just never experienced a situation like this either. So it's time to communicate. So that is the message that I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.